Hey, what's going on, YouTubers? Uh, just wanted to show you guys a little rundown on uh, one of my rigs here. This is uh, kind of your backwoods um, type shit hit the fan vest. Um, I live in you know kind of a rural area, so you know I don't need all the urban type stuff. Um, I've got it, but you know I prefer this one a lot better. Um, you know. Basically, it's an old, older style U.S. Army or U.S. military uh, load-bearing vest. It's got uh, places for six magazines here on the chest. There's one in this pouch, two in this. Uh, my vest total, I run 12 magazines. Um, it may sound like a little bit of overkill, but the way I see it is, if I ever have to bug out, you know, something ever happens, um, you know, I'm an independent operator. <laughs> I'll be out there, you know, by myself or just with a few people, small squad. Um, you know, I know the standard, you know, for the U.S. military, six magazines plus one in the gun. That works, you know, well for them. They've got, you know, supply. They're going to be, you know, resupplied soon. Um, you know, if I'm trying to make my way to my bug out location, you know, trying to protect my family, that kind of stuff, uh, you know, I don't have that. So, you know, I pack a lot of firepower. It's kind of a, uh, the way the SEALs did in Vietnam, you know, when they were independent out in the jungle. Um, you know, LURPS, they did that, which, you know, long range, long range reconnaissance patrol. Um, you know, got a couple things. Uh, I would be, you know, carrying a ruck too. You know, this is just my, my, you know, fighting vest if I ever had to do that. Um, inside my butt bag here, got, um, got a blowout kit in case, uh, you know, something was to ever, you know, God forbid. Somebody uh, got the bead on me and hit me first <laughs> and doesn't kill me instantly. Uh, I got a little cleaning supplies. Um, got a homemade survival pouch. Um, got some you know, stuff for taking a crap. Uh, there should be some bio wipes in here too. Got some gun cleaning stuff. Um, these are from SKS bottles. Uh, I've got enough SKSs for you know, that. Uh, there's, there's the bio wipes. Yeah, right here, this is where it's at. When you're in the woods, this is okay, but this, that's your bread and butter. That stuff will make you feel all nice and clean when you're, you know, out there in the field. Uh, I got a couple things of face paint for toning, you know, skin tone down. Got some 550 cord. Um, this is a three day Coast Guard ration. Uh, they pretty well suck. If you're down to eating this, you are in a survival situation. And my thoughts would probably be to pop off, you know, some kind of <laughs> small game or something like that. But this right here, this will keep you going. It's a three-day ration. Um, it's let's see, I think it's 2,400 calories. Uh, maybe it's not exactly a maybe it's a one. Yeah, it's a three-day food ration. This is right here on the on the front. So uh, you know. You're out there, you know, and you lose your ruck, you know, you have to drop it and run, something like that, you know, it's, uh, you know, this is a, this is a plan B. Um, you know, a lot of people, I just want to talk a little bit about, you know, shit hit the fan. I went to New Orleans right after Hurricane Katrina to do some relief work. Um, I was in Biloxi um, and in New Orleans, and, you know, the things that I've seen, was just people who were absolutely unprepared, you know. And to me, there is absolutely no excuse to live in a hurricane environment or you know, a harsh weather environment. I live in Kentucky, so like it's not too bad here. But you know, have a plan. And these people, they did not have a plan. And that's you know, the cities, you know, the cities didn't even have a plan. FEMA didn't have a plan. You know, and so you know, I just seen the need, you know, to be prepared, um, which, you know, I've always kind of been into, you know, the camping type stuff, um, things like that, so, you know, like when the whole Y2K scare happened, I basically rolled out of bed, looked around my house, and was like, oh, okay, I'm good to go, back to bed, no worry, um, you know, so, you know, spend a little money, Get yourself prepared. Have three days worth of food if you need it. You know, that's the bare minimum. 
uh, you know, preferably have more. Um, I'll, I'll make another YouTube video of my ruck and a little bit of my other gear. Um, I'm trying to get more of a base camp, you know, type setup going on right now, you know, to where once I get to my bug out location, if I can bug out by vehicle also, um, you know, that kind of stuff. This is basically my, you know, foot, get out of Dodge type, uh, type gear. Alright YouTubers, thanks for checking out my video.